Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this morning, the SAG nominations were actually announced on Instagram. I could not do a live reaction to it because I had to work this morning. So here I am, I am back, and I'm about to find out who indeed did get nominated. Am I going to be shocked? Am I going to be surprised? Were there snub? Of course there's snubs. There's always snubs. There's usually always surprises. I feel like I should brace myself. I don't know. I've stayed off of social media the entire day because I did not want anything ruined for me. So here we go. SAG Awards are a little bit different. There's only five categories that I'm going to react to. Cast Ensemble and then the four acting categories, which is great because those are the categories that I only want to react to anyway. Let's be honest. Okay, so let's start. I have it pulled up and I've already seen a couple of names. <laughs> so, all right. Cast in a motion picture, aka ensemble. So we have Belfast, Coda, Don't Look Up, House of Gucci. <laughs> Where did that come from? And King Richard. Okay, I have not seen Belfast or Coda. I cannot comment on those. I'm not surprised about Don't Look Up because that's pretty much all A-list celebrities. So that is not a surprise. House of Gucci is the surprise. And I'm assuming we're basing it off of the A-list star power in that film, because let's be honest, the star, the true star, is Lady Gaga. She takes that movie and she runs with it. Everyone else is just supporting her. So that is a big surprise to me. King Richard, kind of maybe a little bit surprised about King Richard, but I really shouldn't because the entire film as a whole was great. It was a solid movie and that is because the entire cast was amazing. So if there's any snub being the Ricardos, I guess, because it's been getting not, it's not like I want it to be nominated, but because it's getting nominated in other award shows and other categories for Nicole Kidman and Javier Bardem. And then also JK Simmons got a nomination. I'm not really even sure why, because I personally didn't even like him in the role of what's his name Fred so I guess that's a surprise that they were not nominated in that category but that is interesting that is interesting for sure okay moving on to male actor lead male actor in a movie motion picture there we go Javier Bardem being the Ricardos Benedict Cumberbatch the power of the dog oh Andrew Garfield made it for tick tick boom oh I'm so happy I'm so happy Will Smith for King Richard and Denzel, there's only one Denzel, Denzel Washington for the tragedy of Macbeth. So I am pleased with these nominations. Um, Javier is a hit or a miss. Like he could be in or he could be out. That's like the wild card seat, the fifth spot where it could really go to anyone. If I had to say right now about Oscar, I would say Benedict is a lock. Will Smith is a lock. And Denzel would be a lock because so far Denzel is getting nominated consistently. And then Andrew, I am hoping, gets nominated for the Oscar because he put his heart and soul into that performance and he truly deserves to be recognized for that. So I hope he gets in there. But the fifth spot where Javier Bardem is, he could get nominated. He could not. It could go to somebody else. So, okay. I'm not surprised by any of these nominations. They're rock solid. They're good choices. Let's move on to female actor in a leading role. We have Jessica Chastain, The Eyes of Tammy Faye. By the way, I watched The Eyes of Tammy Faye the other night. Her performance is absolutely phenomenal. So I am in Jessica Chastain's camp. I don't want you thinking I don't like her as an actress. I do, but for some reason... She cannot open a movie. I don't know what it's about, but she was fantastic as Tammy Faye. She deserves every single recognition that she's getting. Olivia Coleman, The Lost Daughter, that's not a surprise. She gets nominated if she likes sneezes. Uh, Lady Gaga, House of Gucci. Jennifer Hudson for Respect. Nicole Kidman being the Ricardos. If I go like this, will, will more nominations pop out? Where is Kristen Stewart for Spencer? What? What is going on? What? What? <laughs> no. No. Okay. All right. Let's analyze this for a second. Let's analyze. All right. 
I have not seen Respect, so I cannot judge and say that Kristen Stewart's performance was way better than Jennifer Hudson's because I haven't seen it. I haven't seen Respect, so I can't say that. But this nomination is literally out of nowhere. It's out of left field. And I just feel bad for Kristen Stewart, man. I feel so bad for her because she deserves to be nominated. It takes so much to overcome the stigma of being the quote-unquote Twilight girl. And then she's in a bunch of indie movies where she kind of plays herself, but kind of not. She's that awkward, weird, you know, kind of personality. But in Spencer... She was Princess Diana. She embodied Princess Diana, her man, like everything. When I looked, I saw this in theaters in front of me, huge on screen. And she embodied Princess Diana. She became her. This is a slap in the face. I am completely shocked. And this is not good for her getting an Oscar nomination. I feel like at this point, Jennifer Hudson is taking that fifth spot and we're saying bye-bye to Case Stu. I'm really upset. I am upset. This is not, <sighs> I can't say it's not deserving. It's deserving for Kristen Stewart. Not so much, J uh, not so much Nicole Kidman for being the Ricardos. I will say that because I watched that movie. No, that is not. I feel the reason why Nicole Kidman is getting nominated is because they want to award Lucy and they can't do that because she's dead, obviously. So the next best thing is giving it to Nicole Kidman because she played her. Does that make any sense? I feel like that's the reason why she's getting all these goddamn nominations. Sorry for saying that. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say the G damn word, but There's always surprises. There's always... Okay, let's just move on. We need to move on. All right. Male actor, supporting role, Ben Affleck, the tender bar. Bradley Cooper for Licorice Pizza. Where did that come from? Where, where did that come from? Out of literally thin air, Bradley Cooper gets recognized for Licorice Pizza. Troy Kutzer for Coda. Jared Leto for House of Gucci. Really? Really? That's what we're doing? And Cody Smith McPhee for The Power of the Dog. No surprise. It's going to Cody. Out of these nominations, it's going to Cody. Guaranteed. Well, I haven't seen Coda. So I really, well, I haven't seen The Tender Bar of Licorice Pizza either. But Cody Smith McPhee has the power behind him. I feel like he's just going to be like Daniel Kaluuya last year. And I said that in the Golden Globe video. He's just going to roll the entire award season. And he's just going to sweep up every single award. So that's who I think is going to win. Jared Leto's nomination is laughable. Troy Kutzer, I've heard his name before, so that's not a surprise. Ben Affleck and Bradley Cooper are definitely surprises. I am shocked at both of those. No one from Belfast. No Jamie Dornan from Belfast. I haven't seen it, but they were the names that were getting nominated. So I'm surprised about that. All right, let's just wrap this up. We got to wrap this up. I have a whole bunch of feelings. Female actor supporting role. Here we go. Catriona Balfe for Belfast. I think I said her name correctly that time. Kate Blanchett. Where did that come from? Nightmare at Oh surprises. Kate Blanchett for Nightmare Alley, Ariana DeBose for West Side Story, Kirsten Dunst, The Power of the Dog, and Ruth Nega for Passing. Okay. Well, Kate Blanchett is the surprise. I feel like every single category, there's one surprise nomination. So Kate Blanchett is obviously the surprise in this category. I never would have guessed that she'd get a nomination. Do the SAGs favor her in any way? I'm trying to think. I, I can't I can't recall that right now. But I think it's going to Ariana DeBose for West Side Story. Just the same as Cody Smith McPhee. Like she has the power behind her and it's just going in that direction. So she's probably going to take it. But man, female actor supporting role is like a cornucopia of names from, from all different sources. This is weird. This is, oh my, okay. Well, the... I cannot say that this was boring. This is not a boring award season so far. That is for sure. Holy crap. But K. Stu, Kristen Stewart, I am devastated for her. So it is definitely going to be interesting to see 
how this shapes up for the roadmap to the Academy Award because now that Kristen Stewart is not nominated for SAG, I think I mentioned this earlier, it's not looking good. If she doesn't have a SAG nomination, she's probably not going to get an Oscar nomination. If she does, though, that will be one heck of an upset. That will be amazing if she can still manage to get an Oscar nomination without a SAG nomination. So we're just going to have to wait and see and just, you know, wait on pins and needles and find out what happens. But thank you so much for joining me today with the reaction for the SAG nominations. It's never boring. This face is never boring. You guys know that. So this was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the actual award show and do some reacting. So if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below if you love award season and everything to do with movies and physical media. So hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you next time.